Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be taking a look at the differences between Flutter and React Native, which are some of the best development frameworks for app development. So imagine you're an iOS developer working on building out your app for the App Store. It's a home run for iPhone, but Android users are missing out on the action. Well, that is where our development frameworks come in. This issue is no more thanks to available cross-platform development frameworks such as Flutter and React Native. So where did these frameworks come from? Well, Flutter was created by Google back in 2017, and React Native was created by Facebook back in 2015. They're both open source and used by large tech companies who are supporting the growth behind each respective framework. You're able to use both frameworks to create mobile applications for both iOS and Android. They also both support hot reloading. Now, what is hot reloading, you may ask? The idea behind hot reloading is to keep the app running and to add new versions of the files that you edited at runtime. This way, you don't lose any of your state, which is especially useful if you're tweaking any components of the UI. Android supports native apps run on Kotlin and Java, whereas iOS supports native apps run on Swift and Objective-C. So the question is, which framework is the most beneficial for you? Let's go ahead and take a further look at the differences. So right off the bat, Flutter is faster than React Native. The original mobile apps to be used as cross-platform were actually web views that ran on WebKit a browser rendering engine. Eventually, this became very expensive and performance was minimal for users. Platforms were able to solve this issue by building the JavaScript bridge, which allows JavaScript to talk to native code directly. Platforms were able to solve this issue by building the JavaScript bridge, which allows JavaScript to talk to native code directly. So with React Native, every time your app needs to talk to the rendering engine, it has to be compiled to native code to cross the bridge. Every time there's a single interaction, the bridge must be crossed twice, from platform to app, and then back from app to platform. Flutter, on the other hand, is much faster as it comes with its own C++-based rendering engine. Simply put, this means that your app is running natively in Flutter, and it doesn't need to cross any bridge. It has the ability to talk directly to native events and give you control over every pixel. Thanks to faster rendering speeds, Flutter feels a lot more fluid as compared to React Native. When you build your app with Flutter, you can be confident that your UI components will look great on both iOS and Android devices. With React Native, on the other hand, you can spend time trying to code all the UI components, but then your components end up moving around and you have to spend time reconfiguring your components, which can be very tedious at times. Now, React Native has been around for two years longer than Flutter has, so it's had time to give the development community a head start developing libraries, plugins, and packages that you can use on your current projects. Flutter, on the other hand, doesn't have as much packages and libraries to use for the time being, as it is a younger framework. With this added time, this also means that React Native is in greater demand for development positions as opposed to Flutter. Though, it does seem that in the near future, Flutter could be more popular as its demand is increasing every single day. React Native uses JavaScript as its programming language. So, if you have any experience working as a web developer, it can be easier to transition from web development to app development using React Native. In some cases, companies actually take their web developers and with some training, convert them to mobile app developers since they both require the same language, JavaScript. Flutter, on the other hand, is written using Dart. And since Dart is only really used with Flutter at the moment, there aren't as many people in the community with experience in it. At the end of the day, it is most important to choose which framework is best for you. If you started working on an application in React Native, then by all means, continue on your journey with React Native. If you haven't yet and are also interested in web development, then go ahead and start learning JavaScript and React Native. If you're interested in working at Google or just starting out with mobile app development, then you can go ahead and start learning Dart and Flutter. Either way, at the end of the day, what's most important is that you pick a framework and learn as much as you can. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and destroy that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.